But you're not even shredding, you're shredding the hair. <laughs> I'm hoping it will take off a lot of weight by cutting my hair. <laughs> All right, Shred Strength episode four. Uh, we've got a lot planned for today. Things are right on track. We're both losing our weight how we want it. I think we're both at a point where we're going for a pound a week. Gonna nail that out. Strength went up, we hit those PRs. I think everything's gonna shoot up. This program's amazing. I'd jump on it if you haven't already, but today's gonna be killer. If your waist begins with a two, eat. I see dead people. Dead. I need dead people. Lord, pretty flacco. Nailing kiss the ring. All hail the king. Long live ASAP. Put that on everything. Starting the grind, bro. How you feeling today? Good. Look at how ghetto this is. I lost like the front clip of it. So I just put tape to hold the battery in. So what's the plan for today, bro? Uh, I'm sending off a few emails, responding to some clients, getting a bit of work done, um, and then we're gonna film a YouTube video uh, in the gym. We're gonna talk. This to is guys. not a YouTube video, bro. Uh, well, this is a YouTube video. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna film some of our workout and then uh, just do what we usually do. So yeah, shredded series. So we're gonna we're gonna show you guys like some cool accessories that we do for our max effort upper bench stuff. We haven't showed you too many, and I know a lot of people haven't benched with a band. So I kind of want to show you guys how we do it why we do it and why it's awesome. So we'll get into that. Um, aside from that, we're also gonna go over a very good topic. We may as well do it right now. We're gonna talk about, does being sore equal a good workout? We get this a ton. Guys, remember, you can always submit your questions to our email at bossfitnessbusiness at gmail.com. We'll try to answer the best ones. We get a lot, so we sort through and we pick selectively, but this was a really good one. Thanks for asking, Jake, and we'll address it right now. We rolling? We good? Damn. Beautiful day, we had to take this outside. So like I said earlier, the topic is that we get asked quite often is, does being sore equal a good workout? And if you're not sore, did you not work out hard enough? The answer is no, being sore does not equal a good workout and here's why. So what is soreness? This is often referred to as DOMS. And this week you'll usually feel the DOMS in around six to eight hours after activity. And then this tends to peak 24 to 48 hours after activity. And this is why you often to feel sore the next day. This is something that's a phenomenon. You feel sore the next day after, but then the day after that is the worst. So this DOMS, it is actually not lactic acid buildup. A lot of people make the mistake of contributing lactic acid as a culprit to soreness. However, it is actually mitochondria surrounding connective tissue tissue which in turn inflames the tissue and creates this feeling. So what this DOMS is, is your body actually strengthening itself and making preparations to prepare to do the activity again. Kyle's gonna go over the three things that will actually contribute to soreness and the factors that create it. Number one is you've changed something in your workout. This could be the order of uh, exercises, it could be a rest scheme, a set scheme, something like that. Number two is you've actually done something that your body isn't used to and this could mean you're adding an exercise you've never done before yeah, and you're uh, working your muscles in a different fashion. And number three, this is more of an interpersonal thing, but it could be doing an exercise that really stretches the muscle such as a, as a chest fly. I know for myself, if I ever do any kind of like straight leg hamstring or chest fly, I always feel it no matter how many times I do it. Someone like Josh and I know a few others don't feel it as much, but this is more interpersonal, this third one. No, being sore does not mean you had an amazing workout. Being sore can mean you had a great workout. That has nothing to do with soreness. Soreness means absolutely nothing. It's just a factor in something your body does to prepare. Seeing as that soreness means absolutely nothing, what we use to measure and what we use for our clients, and this is the best way to figure out everything, is we have weight. Weight isn't your total answer. It will only give you one aspect. So we use measurements. Measurements reflect your body and your body's composition and you can see if each measurement is going where you want it according to your goals. And then if all else fails for that, compliments and other people's opinions alongside with yourself in the mirror, you can actually notice these changes happening. Yourself might be harder because you see yourself every day. But I find when I'm working on something, other people will notice these things before myself. And if you're looking to monitor strength gain, record your workouts and see if your numbers are going up accordingly. Let's go to the gym, brah. So we're gonna be using banded bench. This is gonna basically help us off the floor. It's gonna put resistance on the bar the whole time while we're pushing up. So when doing this, I'd recommend putting on whatever weight you'll have first. Because if you put the band on the inside here, it can actually bounce over and smack you in the face. Happened to my friend, so don't do that. So you're gonna put it here, swing your under. All right, so we're actually improvising. You can actually get a bit longer bands. I've used it before and you can just put it completely under. 
but we're lucky because we have these safety guards, so we're just going from safety guard to safety guard, putting the pin. It's not, it looks like a ton of work, but it's not that bad. I feel like Spider-Man with my uh, little red web. No. This is Kyle's first time trying. See how she goes, bud. It's all the same. She's gonna push back a little bit. See? Yeah. So it's good. We didn't do those until like the whole group was going he's getting counter resistance the entire time. It's awesome. It's gonna pull him down. He's gonna have trouble pushing up. Can't beat bands. Opinions? It takes a little bit of get, getting used to, but it'll come naturally after a few sets. See, now that I'm not pinning away from like the middle of the bench, I can actually do it myself. It's a huge difference. It is a nice day. Let's uh, let's end it with a quick uh, shredding tip. I love it out, man. It's summertime. One of my favorite, absolute favorite things to do is to get outside and walk. Uh, Josh and myself could have just hopped on a subway, which would have taken two minutes, but we're really enjoying the weather, and uh, it's gonna take 10 to 15 minutes, but we're also burning a lot of calories, stretching our muscles after we just crushed the gym. We did some boxing. One of my favorite things also is Man, I really enjoy running by the water, like the scenery, everything like that. Being stuck uh, on a treadmill, absolutely hate it. So, Lauren, what other uh, like little tips do you have for people that are looking to change your lifestyle, lose weight? Uh, another really big thing is one thing that you guys probably don't realize is how many calories, uh, you know, sauces add up to. So when I go to the movies, I'll track my butter or I'll at least watch my intake. Ketchup is another big thing that can calorically add yeah, up I know, so that much. Creeps up. Yeah, so seriously, I'll really watch my ketchup, my condiments, and all that stuff. So, so what's a good substitute? I'm a I'm a hot sauce boy. What about you? I'm not the biggest fan of hot sauce, but I'll usually put like a drip, drip of sriracha, <laughs> just to give it a little bit of taste <laughs> and to take away the calories. Yeah, sweat a little bit. Yeah, man. Uh, for me, my little tip, I guess, for you guys is. Whenever it's summer and I'm cutting, I like to take the stairs instead of escalators, park a little bit farther from the gym. These are small changes that can add up to about a 100 to 200 calorie change in your day, which is incredible. And for some people, even 800. Like Kyle here, he puts on buckets and buckets of cat. No, I'm lying, but if that's you, log it. <laughs> you wanna be very strict, especially when you're trying to lose weight, because everything matters. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Shredded Strength, episode four. 
Watch us become stronger, become more shredded, and we're gonna win our competition soon. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, they're still here. Oh. Tell them to go away. Go away. Walk out, walk out, walk out. What's up guys, if you're still watching at this point, you're clearly premium members of the Colossus Army and we appreciate you so much. If you guys appreciate what we do and want to have a pivotal role in supporting and bettering us and helping us help other people, you guys can come over here to our Patreon and help donate. There's a monthly donation to help us grow with different pledge levels, with different rewards where you guys can actually get rewards for pledging. And then the beauty of this is this helps us effectively make better videos, get better content and produce, improve production quality all through. Out. Thank you so much. Uh, any donation would help so much. If not, just keep liking, subscribing, and being awesome. Thanks.